The Behringer UMC22 has been one of the better budget-priced audio interfaces for the last several years. Now, recently there have been some other audio interfaces in the same price point with the same features that have been released, and I'll get more into those comparisons later, but is the Behringer UMC22 still worth getting in 2021? Let's find out. I'm Zane. Welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creativity. And I do this by providing easy to follow audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. Now, if you want to get some more info on the Behringer UMC22 and see the latest pricing, I know it's dropped in price since those other interfaces were released. I've included the links to it plus the other audio interfaces that I'm comparing it to in this video down in the description. So check down there for all of those links. But as you can see, I have the Behringer UMC22 hooked up right here, and that's actually what I'm recording this entire video into. So this is the quality of audio that you can get for spoken word purposes, like maybe a podcast or if you're a streamer, something like that. This is the quality of audio that you can get with it. So what is the Behringer UMC22 going to provide you in your home studio? Well, you get two inputs and two outputs. Input one is a combo jack. So it's going to accept XLR microphone cables, and it will also accept quarter inch line input cables. Now input two is an instrument input. So this is where you're going to plug your guitar into it or your bass guitar, something along those lines. It's going to go into input two. You only get one microphone preamp in it, but if you're a singer songwriter and you're going to be singing and recording your guitar at the same time, you can do that with this. If you're going to be using it for podcasting, or if you're like me and you only record one thing at a time and you just keep overdubbing, the Behringer UMC22 gives you all of the input types that you're going to need. Now, back to the microphone preamp on this. It is a Midas mic preamp, and if you're not familiar, Midas have been making very high quality microphone preamps for several years. Now, Behringer purchased that company, and I'm pretty sure that the mic preamp in the UMC22 isn't the same as those high quality standalone mic preamps. Having said that, it's still a decent quality mic preamp. You're hearing it right now. This is what it sounds like. It's a quiet mic preamp and I haven't had any issues with it. I've done other demos on this mic preamp and I'm really surprised at the clarity that you get with it for the price point. And they even give you 48 volt phantom power for your condenser mics. On the front of the interface, you have some nice LEDs that help you with setting your input levels. The SIG LED should light green when your input level is ideal. Now, if it lights red, then you know you're clipping and you need to turn the gain down on the audio interface. On the back of the Behringer UMC22, you have your balanced TRS output, so you can connect your studio monitors to it no problem. Another thing that's really nice about this audio interface is the amount of power that the headphone output has. I can connect my Bayer Dynamic DT770 250 ohm headphones to it no problem problem. I get nice and clean audio going through it. So that's a nice touch to it as well. Now, what about the recording specs? Well, the Behringer UMC22 is capable of recording at 16 bits up to 48,000 hertz, which is DVD quality. CD quality is 16 bits, 44,100 hertz. So this is capable of that too. You're going to be able to get some decent quality recordings. If you're a podcaster or a streamer, this is great quality for you. If you use it for video, this is great quality for you. Now, for musical applications, 24-bit has kind of become the mainstream. Now, the reason why 24-bit has kind of become the standard for music is because you get added headroom, and also when you're dithering down to 16-bit, the idea is that you start with a higher quality, and then when you go to 16 bit, you're still getting the full 16 bits. You're not losing any quality. Now, most of us who are using a budget audio interface like this, we're just recording demos or maybe even full albums, but we're not expecting to get pro studio quality. I mean, if you want pro studio quality, you understand that you're going to have to spend tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this is a $50 audio interface. So don't go into this expecting pro studio quality. You're still going to be getting decent audio recordings with this, DVD quality audio recordings, 
or CD quality, whatever you prefer. And people aren't really listening to your music, wondering what audio interface you're using. They're just going to be listening to it for the music. So if you create a great song, it really doesn't matter if you record it on this or a higher spec audio interface. People are going to listen to it because it's a great song. There have been some really amazing songs that you hear on the radio that were recorded on less quality than that. Another consideration when purchasing an audio interface these days is the software that's bundled with it. Now, I believe you get Traction Waveform OEM with the Behringer UMC22. It used to include Traction T7, but that's no longer available. So I think you now get the Traction Waveform OEM, which is a great DAW. And with the OEM version, you actually get the collective synth with it, which is a really great instrument. Now, Traction Waveform OEM is an unlimited DAW. It's not a trial DAW. It, there's no track limitations or anything like that. You can bring in your own third-party plugins, and it includes some decent quality plugins to get you started. And that's really about it for software that's bundled with this thing. At least it was when I purchased it anyway. I'm not sure if they included anything more with it now. So at the time of recording this video, the Behringer UMC22 is going for $49 over on Sweetwater. And other audio interfaces with similar features are the new M-Audio M-Track Solo. It's also going for $49. And it's almost the same sort of design, except for on the back, it has unbalanced RCA outputs. So that's something to keep in mind there. But I guess it is a newer design, even though it kind of is very similar to the old design of the Behringer UM2, actually. There's also the Focusrite Scarlet Solo, which is $109, but you get 24-bit recording with it. Now, is 24-bit worth the extra $60? Well, that's up to you to decide, but you could use that extra $60 to purchase a nicer microphone. The Behringer UMC22 is really geared towards the entry-level creative person that's on a budget. If this is what your budget will allow you to afford, then you're not going to sound like junk with it. No one's going to know what audio interface you use unless you tell them. And if you create great content, no one's going to care. So is the Behringer UMC22 worth purchasing in 2021? Well, if you're a podcaster or a streamer or some sort of content creator, for using spoken word and you only need one microphone input at a time, then absolutely it's a great budget priced audio interface still in 2021. If you're a musician and you only need one microphone input and maybe a guitar input at the same time, then you can still get some great quality audio with this. You can create demos, you can create full home studio albums with it, and it's still going to give you great quality. Now, if you have a bit higher of a budget, you might want to look at the Behringer UMC202 HD. It gives you some added features plus 24-bit recording capabilities, but again, it is a little more money. Or you might want to look at one of the entry-level Focusrite Scarlet interfaces. And like I said earlier, I've included links down in the description to all of the audio interfaces that I mentioned in this video. And if you want to check out my video where I compare the Behringer UMC22 to the Behringer UM2, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.